Hey, folks, Quillyteen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Against the Storm. Is there a Viceroy, dif Viceroy difficulty? I think so. I think that's what it's called. Um, right before Prestige difficulty. Uh, run. Beaver Resolve. We're having a little bit of an issue for that because currently we are dealing with this open vault. Um, I could be accelerating it with Marrow, but I've decided uh, that maybe I don't need to. It's mostly only affecting woodcutters. Oh, we'll throw another one in the stone. Oh. Oh, it, I think it affects woodcutters and gatherers, so these guys are getting a little unhappy. Right. Uh, I don't think there's anything for you to do in the bakery. We don't need you in the geyser pump. All right, I'll just keep going for now, then that's fine. Do I want to order up some more construction? Really would like a more efficient crop production, but... I don't know, maybe I'll start slowly ticking through the crops, the packs of crops for the rations for the Citadel. Oh yeah, saturated air, we could get more resolve during this period, which would be nice. Oh, actually, you know what? Since I can't get the Harpy resolve, I could just go and cancel this and put you back in the woodcutting, that's fine. Actually, I should move the woodcutter since this path is now open. Uh, we know we're going to want to carve through here, but for now, let's just go and put the woodcutters a little closer. You got a, a warehouse here. Not too far from warehouse. All right. Oh, no, you're not the loot box guy. Woodcutters move faster. I mean, always great. Spice day. We don't make ale, but I mean, could be. We don't, we don't make a lot of this right now. Is there anything I want to buy? I mean, I could start buying cosmetics, but I still need a bathhouse before we get any value out of this. Um, I could buy some more pipes, but I don't think I want to do that. With this, oh, you know what I just remembered? Die. Upgrade number one of the geyser pumps. This is one. This is the reason I like the pumps maybe better than the rain collectors. Upgrade number one just gives you a free worker that operates here. Um, you have to spend one wildfire essence and two pipes. But we've got the wildfire essence and currently we have the pipes. So let's do that. We could still put a worker here, but maybe we can make do without. Maybe, do I want to just pop this open? We might be able to do this while the trader is still here. Yeah, hold on a sec. I know, your resolve's gonna be low temporarily, but this must be about to finish. Eh, not as quick as I thought. Hmm. We've got a minute here. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Oh, chop down the slasher. I mean, I know you got to get over here, but there's only the one tree marked for you to chop. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, thank you. And there you go. Positive result. Thank you. What do we have here? Ancient shrine, which needs. Oh, yeah, we can just use the we can just use the fabric because we've got a, a constant series of that coming in. Um, ancient tablets. We're getting two from over here. I don't need more ancient tablets, so I can go and take the reputation. Well, uh, there's no penalty for while we're working, and we don't want to lose people, so we're clearly going to go and throw you on immediately. So there's nothing I need to buy from the merchant. We do have another farming spot, which is great. And a bunch more roots. Okay, and our food's actually going up right now. Well, I guess I'm going to get the specialized boots then. It's hard to argue with faster movement, just generally greater efficiency. I don't think I'm going to grab anything else. Um, do I want to complete this now? Yes, I do. Uh, we are at hostility level four. That is what we get for opening these, but... Oh, I have enough tools. Let's pop open more of these boxes. For rep. Although, again, that would drop in patience. Do I want to just wait? Try to do one last push? Like, all at once? I might want to. 
Oh, you have nothing to do here. We can go and pull you back. Oh, because we're at the provisions limit. Although, that reminds me, let's check our trade situation. Yeah, so again, I'm going to do lots of little trades just to try to get some rep boost. And I've got some money left over. Uh, yeah, let's get the $5 extra slot in these two cities here. Yeah, I guess I can do both. So let's do it. Okay. And then somewhere in here... Right, burn the blight cysts. Uh, global resolve from trader, which is nice. Don't we have the... Yeah, there we go, protected trade. So as we keep trading away, and it doesn't have to be at once. This is something I was worried about originally when I was looking at these perks, right? It says every time you sell goods worth 25 amber. It doesn't have to be in one go. It, it keeps count. So yeah, we can get a bunch of hostility reduction here if we keep just selling stuff. B resolve is low. I guess if I go and get rid of a woodcutter, we can drop our hosti hostility level by one, which is nice. It doesn't necessarily get us to the harpies bonus. Oh, we have homeless. I moshed over that accidentally. I hadn't actually noticed. Um, if these level up, we can get more. At the very least, I should get you to level one so we can get another global plus two resolve. So if we have eight people living there. So let's build some houses over here. So we need two harpy houses. Oh, it's clicking on that little icon there instead of placing it. That's what was going on. Uh, we need one more beaver house. We don't currently need a human house, so we'll need extra population or I can move a house over here afterwards. We will need a park to be able to reach level one. And then, yeah, I think the plan will be to move a house. This is just going to cost me planks, right? Or just wood. Okay, we can't afford. I don't have stack of wood. It's not great. Tell you what, Mr. Hearth, no longer build, uh, burn wood, please. Better to burn the coal, which is made from wood, for more fishing material. Oh, the harpies are going to get happy again. That's great. You are being worked on here. You can also get a road going up in here. Wait, you're idle in the ancient shrine. Shit, you don't have enough fabric. Oh, with us building the houses. Right. But the weaver is still working. Okay. That will be okay. Oh, uh, I can complete this. Do I want to do this now? It does have to increase pack production, which is great, but I think we're going to have to wait until after the storm. If anything, if we can get another point of impatience to give us a little bit more of a margin with our hostility, that might be helpful. Oh, I need to get this working. Yeah, uh, I'm going to put a limit on here. I don't want it to consume all of our fuel to do this. Let me turn off the logs for this as well. And heck, the oil, just in case we get some, we might want it for something special. You know, Use these two. That's going to be fine. Um, see, so yeah, I like to set a limit, otherwise it just makes these infinitely. And I just make sure it's high enough for this. So we'll we'll adapt this as we go. Uh, let's get a second one in here. And make sure we'll have enough to burn these cysts, because currently I cannot sacrifice at the hearth. Not during a storm. Because of uh, one of the modifiers we took. But hey, if we start burning cysts, I think it was for every three. We're just looking at it. Yeah, for every three, I'll get minus 10 hostility, which minus 10 isn't much. But we should be able to keep stacking these. In fact, I might want to consider opening up. I only have the one in here. I guess I can move you for now. Can I just move you into the blight post? Any chance the bakery could start making things again? Not really, no. Although we do have enough flour. Oh, no, we don't. It's just not highlighted in red because I guess it's not working. Let's say oh, we have enough flour to work that. So you took oil. You actually reserve quite a lot of stuff as you go. Well, you could start working on pottery. Again. Okay, you know what? Let's throw you in here. Oh. Oh, yeah. Really waiting in construction. Okay, I'll throw another one in the bakery for now. We'll get the pottery. 
Oh, and trade routes. Jerky. It hurts a little bit, but no, we're going to have to keep doing this. That's really what we're here for. Uh, I don't think I'm going to make more trade routes here for now. We did put someone in here. There we go, finally with the crops. We sell some? Maybe we, we send some to a trade route. Or, you know what? Right, it doesn't count until it gets delivered to our warehouse. There we go, they're just sitting in here. We do have a fairly high number on the limit. That kind of makes some sense as to why we weren't seeing anything. All right, storm period is a go. And yeah, I can't do a... Uh, I wasn't going to be able to. While the hearth is corrupted, unable to sacrifice resources. Expected hearth corruption rate. Oh, so I think it becomes corrupted during the storm, maybe. We might just have to sit at three here. Because, yeah, these guys aren't generating that much hostility. We'd have to do... Actually, if I do one dose of that and do this. There we go. We can drop the hostility by a level temporarily, but I was going to say, there we go. As soon as that gets corrupted, it's not going to work anyway, so... Um, I think we're just going to have to tank this negative hostility. In which case, I guess I can put you back on there. I realize that means no construction, but that's okay. Why don't you clear a little bit more space around here? And you're not working anyway, so we can just forget about you. Although... Yeah, I do strongly suspect with the farm here, we're going to end up with a uh, warehouse in this area. At least I can sell a couple of these tablets. What do we see? Well, we could get the apothecary in preparation that hopefully we get uh, a cleanliness building. I think only the beavers here eat the pickled goods. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. It does give us slightly more efficient packs of crops, which is apparently important for this, but I'm wondering about the apothecary. I might not build it. I might just keep it around for an option, which means I guess I don't have to lock in here right away. Maybe I could wait to see what kind of blueprints the next trader brings, something like that. But yeah, we might have to accept some loss of people, which does mean the impatience is gonna grow. I'm not sure there's anything I can do here. I mean, I could do this, which would at least make the humans not become impatient. Might have to be okay. Oh yeah, and I need to move a building over here. Right, because I was out of wood, so I couldn't. But now, I still can't afford to move you. Jeez. to lose a beaver and there's nothing I can really do about that as far as I can tell. Dang. You don't like stacks of hunger or anything, do you? Hostility, looming darkness, dangerous move. No. Yeah, it's all from the hostility, which we have perhaps failed to manage the way we'd like. Well, I'm going to go and complete that mission. Okay, there we go. Season is over. We got some extra people to refill that. Um, we do need to keep the wood cutting going because apparently we are running into slight shortages there. Where did I move the other one? Over here. Uh, maybe I won't put you in here yet because that's kind of far from anything. You maybe just be on build duty. That's going to be okay. All right. What do you got, Cornerstone? Gain 10 amber every time a trader arrives. Trade routes are faster, so we can pump through a bunch of those. There is Vineyard Town, which is beaver resolve for every for wine we produce, but right now, I don't think we ended up taking any wine buildings, did we? No. Not metal or ore. I mean, let me just take a little bit of free. I mean, in theory, we're doing a lot of trade routes. We should actually have a lot of amber anyway. You know what? I'm just gonna take trade routes for faster because apparently we're kind of leaning into that. Yeah, 
All right. I mean, we got enough jerky. And we want these towns to level up. Actually, I suppose just one trade route would have gotten us there. Yeah, three or four transactions. Maybe I should just send the one and then see what the prices would do. We actually are pretty good on brick production. I'm just going to send that. Yeah, and that'll get you up to the next level. And I will go um, and get another one started because it's not like this one's that invested in anyway. I need three level two towns. Okay. There's no one working in the manufactory. Right, which means no packs of provisions are being made currently. Let's get one back in there. And you guys can't do anything because you're at your limit. Which mostly is a sign we need more construction. Okay, I'm going to accept more people. Because I actually do want to pad out this area a little bit more. Um... That'll finish the house. I guess we do need another human house. And yeah, I do want to go and expand over here. So actually, let me move you off the side. We could get drizzle water. We will need more pipes. If we want to do that sort of thing, but maybe. Yeah, I'm going to get another plantation right over here. And at least a warehouse. I don't know if we do another hearth. Maybe. And each each hearth does lower um, hostility. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. And this is quite far. If people need to take a rest from over here, they got to walk all the way over here. Now, I think we will want another hearth if we're going to keep this area around. And I think we are. Gives us another place to build um, an industrial center as well. Because we've got an extra warehouse we can build things near. Okay, we got some mood boost, which is great. We'll get you slowly taking away at the stuff. Well, yeah, no, the other woodcutter camps is full, so sure. Okay, I mean, you are idle again, but we only got the... Oh, you're the plank maker. There we go. I'll just keep one person there, because we got a big buffer of planks. I'm on tools. I do have 20 tools. This is Glade Events Carry More. And, oh, I can finish rations for the Citadel. Yeah, let's do that. And I think here I'm just gonna go for the rep. We're getting we're getting closer. Oh, we do get another blueprint, so I should go and pick this. I suppose I could re-roll. I'm still wondering about the apothecary. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna do it. And this might be re-roll time. Actually, we don't have skewer production. This is only for the harpies, but we can keep the harpies in high mood. Plus, it technically gives us ale, which could be useful. Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to build the grill. And yeah, so this would be a good spot. We're just going to build it here. We'll be right adjacent to a warehouse nearby. That's going to be great. Hello. Vials? Okay, we've got lots of amber. Ah, oh, way of the forest, minus 50% hostility. Yes, instant purchase. Game pottery and discovery glade. I don't think we're discovering more glades. Discover new glades, yeah, that's annoying. Plus one resolves for all villagers with a home. Yes, please. That's going to be fantastic. And then I might want to buy some more pipes because I think I do actually want to get some more rain punk stuff going on. So let's do that. Otherwise, I could just rando buy... Those are all... No, I guess I was... there's nothing I can buy. These are services. I was going to say, just buy something to keep the harpies going. But no. I could grab some random luxury goods in case we do get a building for it so we have some space, but I'm not sure how helpful that is. I suppose I could just buy some coats. Maybe I'll just do that, because the humans and the beavers will still appreciate having that. Just drag this here. There we go. I don't think I can get anything for 20 cents. I think everything's going to be more than that. Yeah, all right. Um, that seems good. So yeah, I can still get these, but they're not helpful for me. 
How's the trade goods? Yeah, they do go really fast. Yes. Yo, okay, so this one's already level two, which is all I need for the quest. Although, if they keep leveling up, we will get more and more value. I don't think I'm gonna be selling the coats, even though they'd be great money. Okay, this will get you to level one. Yeah, so you're at two or three of standings. We need to level level two. Maybe, okay, maybe with Flak, I'll go ahead and get the extra trade route. Although, I'm not, if I want full value, I should wait for these guys to be higher level, but I, this is fine, actually. Just power level up as quick as you can. Okay. We might still do the trade with the fourth town, just because, you know, it can be some more money and things. It's not a bad way to get some options, but it's not going to be the same sort of priority. Okay, we have a fair amount of builders. I guess the thing to do, actually, is to tell them, listen, build this warehouse first, please. Because then you don't have to walk as far to get supplies for the, uh, the rest of the construction. Housing's good. Two people with positive moods is great. Okay, yeah, the resolve-based um, reputation gain is really working out this time. Uh, how are we on clay? I don't remember what category clay is under. We only have 18. Fuel's actually okay. So I will go and get you to mine this clay. Please and thank you. I'm right now. Yeah, still good. Plantation. Oh! Yep. I'm gonna do this. Uh, any chance some of these are covered by trees? It looks like... Oh, maybe maybe a little tiny bit. I don't know. I'll just... Uh, I'll go ahead and move you over here. And just... Just in case. Oh, wait, hold on. I should hold control here just in case I accidentally open up the blade. You, you can, um, if you hold, I think, yeah, alt, it'll clear instead, but I always forget about that. No sense in assigning anyone to this yet. Okay, clearance. People in a good mood. 0.34 per minute. Oh, yeah, you've got to be moved. Um, anywhere we'd like to clear some extra space. Maybe around here. And you're near a warehouse as well. Yeah, let's do, let's do something like this. Closest to the warehouse, just makes more space, keeps some wood coming because we don't have a lot of it, despite not burning it at the, um, at the hearth anymore. And again, I may want a hearth here. All right, reputation went up. Um, we did grab the apothecary or whatever so that we can make cosmetics, which should give us cleanliness. Plus, if we get someone working in here, global carry capacity goes up, which means, uh, because I think I've got a harpy in my hearth right now, but we could change that. Okay, I think the market's an obvious pick here. Uh, I don't think placement want matters because people don't actually walk to it other than maybe the employees. I'd almost like to shove it further over, but we'll do that. And if we check here, yeah, the apothecary. Builds cosmetics. And we'll stick that in there. Okay. Good. We still need a bathhouse for the quest, that's right. Which would be nice, but at least the market will satisfy the cleanliness need and keep the harpy resolve up. And I think we can probably just cruise to that. We should be able to finish good friends. The trade and luxury here is never working out. Oh wait, no, hold on. Right, we did do the uh, the good ones. Um, I mean, we probably are trading some of these away, but the efficiency is not great. I'm gonna go and just cancel this. I suspect we don't have the ability to make luxury trade packs at all. Well, trade and luxury, and both of them are kind of expensive to produce, because right now... Yeah, uh, the leader is one star, which isn't bad, but... We'll see. Those packs do tend to be pretty good targets for the trade here, so it might still be worth looking into. So, I want to focus on you, because if we can get you to level two, we finish the thing. Uh, see what I mean? Trade packs. 
I might still want to do a few. Where was that? The weaver. Yeah, okay. Let me enable the trade packs. And I'll put a limit of 25 in case we want to go after trade and luxury. In fact, let me change this to a permanent change here, because clearly I got quests that use it sometimes. So it's fine for me to accumulate that high in general. So I'm going to save it, which will get auto loaded. Forger's camp here is empty. We've got some more over here. I'm just trying to figure out this one here should be closer. The warehouses and stuff. So we'll drop that down there. You do need a person. Oh, right. So let's throw just whoever in this. And over here, since the market is going to increase our carrying capacity. Uh, our impatient level is fine. I might just put a beaver in here because they lower fuel consumption, which I mean, we do have a lot of sea marrow right now. But overall, I think I'll feel a little bit better if that's a bit on a preserve mode. Now, you are full because you hit your cap, but oh, we can raise the cap. Actually, I'll raise it to like 30 here. Because we need. Uh, oh, no, we need. It's 12 of 3. I'm misreading this. Never mind. Let me do this, and. You know what? It's fine. Stay, stay idle. Because I'm going to want to set you up when the storm comes anyway, and I don't want to forget to do that. Any factory. I don't think there's anything else that can use stormwater other than a manufacturer right now. Do I want to hook up the bakery? So I can do this and I can put a robot. How many pipes do I have? I traded for some, didn't I? category that's under building over here. Yeah, I got a bunch. Um, yeah, you know what? We'll go ahead and get the drizzle water geyser. And we'll put a robot in there. Okay, we need harpies in here. Maximum production. Make cosmetics. You're the only place that makes it. Incense. Only place that makes it. Biscuits. Both of them are in a two. Oh, is anything happening in the bakery? I don't remember which one's the bakery. You also do pottery. Okay, which is fine. So I was going to say, I might not want... I might not want both places, because then they'll both be, like, picking up resources. They might end up with, like, half stacks of each. I'm just going to turn it off here. Not like we have the flour anyway, so it doesn't matter maybe, but... How much money do I have? Uh, when's the next crater, actually? Five minutes. I think I'm going to go and open another slot over here. Okay, now we'll have to wait for that to refresh to be useful. Um, all right, I don't need to keep these uh, ancient tablets anymore. So I was going to say, I think I've got two. Yeah, let's sell them both. I guess I could sell the raw eggs. I don't know, I might want to keep those stockpiled. And I'm gonna ignore uh, I'm gonna ignore Ally here because I think we don't need you. Let's get you working now, please. Um, I've got some tools. Don't I? Oh, only six. Never mind. All right, resolve is low, and I don't think there's anything we can do about that. But how bad is downpour? We can consume double the amount because uh, no one's got access to services. Although soon they will. Only during a break. I don't mind this. Yeah, I don't think there's a good way to avoid it. Uh, I suppose maybe if I fire enough woodcutters? Resolve's still not going to be great. But maybe it's slightly less bad. All right, all the cysts have been popped. So we want at least one person working in here. I mean, we want the building active, but yeah, it only takes one to make the market carts. That's pretty cool. And then I do produce cosmetics. Yeah, we'll be using eggs. Yeah, I'll leave everything on. That's fine. Yeah, th that's all good. I was going to say, oh, maybe I want to... But we, we produce pigments, right? 
Yeah, the artisan can also do it in manufacturing, but we'll just do it at one. Um, so actually, I'm going to want to prioritize pigment rather than raw material, because in theory, we're getting more bang for our buck along the way. Theoretically, that'd be the same thing with oil if we had oil production. Incense. Yeah, save the wood. We'll use the uh, marrow and coal before the wood. I could just turn it off, but we'll leave that. Mm, I guess that's all going to be good and fine. I don't really have to get involved in these. Okay. Uh, yeah, we might just take a hit. I mean, we have no corruption currently. We have negative corruption. Which means I could sacrifice. I brought this to a two. Let's fix the beavers. Um... Oh, the storm just ended. Well, all right. I guess we're not losing anyone anyway. Uh, well, actually, we might lose this harpy because even though they're going positive, it might not go positive in time before they leave. Do I have a human I could go and boop out of somewhere? No, I guess not. Do I have a here? I'm coffee break right now. Oh yeah, you make our planks. So that'll be okay. Oh, I think we did, the, I think the harpy did bounce back without losing anyone. Good stuff. What do you got for me? Gain two amber for every sea marrow produced. We are getting some of it, but it's a little bit late like that. Um, we could make our wood cutting faster. Maybe I'll just take driving water since we are doing watery things. Oh, speaking of... That got built. We're just gonna go and. Oh, I don't have any more wildfire essence. Oh dang. All right. Well, that'll have to do. So now we're gonna get drizzle water, which I think we're gonna throw into the bakery. Although the bakery is not currently producing right now, but it's the only thing, really, that can make use of the drizzle water. So. That'll still be the plan. Now, I could also use it to boost the resolve, but we'll do this. When the bakery is running, at least it'll run at full tilt. Um, I don't know if I'm going to ask for more people. I think we're okay with the people we've got. It's a new season, so trade routes have reset, mostly for Philic. Sell and sell. It's two more. Okay, which will get us level two, which will finish that, which gets us awfully damn close. I can focus on the harpies to get some resolve points over there again. Everyone is housed, which is great. Okay, yeah. I think we're cruising to the end here. In fact, I wonder if I should put a cut in here or not. You know what? We're just going to power through to the end. Patience is good. Oh, I have a grill ready to go here, which I never went and done. I don't know if we're doing any construction, so we'll go ahead and get you set up. Maybe we could use a few more people. Eh, what the heck, right? Um... At least the moods are going to go up with the grill operating. Okay, you park. Hello! What you got for me? Ashes, pigment, 10% along roads. We do have the road set up, so sure. Um, wait, do we produce pigment? I don't remember. Yeah, we do. Sure, more pigment. All right. And then, um, I don't know if there's anything I can buy to help the harpies. Looks like probably not. Do I just want to buy some stuff regardless? Tell you what, let's buy some parts. We're not out, but it's not a terrible thing to have. Here, I'm going to throw in a little oil. Done. Trade. And, oh, good friends is done. Blam. There we go. Resolve still going. So now it's just trading if I want extra money. I don't need to do anything over here. Uh, oh, I didn't need trade goods. Yeah, but I still don't have luxury goods production. Maybe, hold on. Maybe I'll hold on to these trade goods. 
There. Pretty sure that was turning a big profit based on what we just did, right? Maybe? Yes? Because I bought... Pretty sure it is. I can't remember what I, how many I just bought and how much I just paid for them. Maybe I'll just keep the gears for now in case I need... I don't, I don't need them. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to get another rep-based blueprint. If we could have bought one from you... Oh, I could. I've got so much impatience. I could ask for another trader. But maybe we'd get lucky enough to get a luxury generating... Luxury goods generating building. But maybe we don't need it at all because apparently the harpies carried us to the win. Boom! No deeds completed this time around. But very nice success on uh, my, what was it, Vice Warrior difficulty, right? Like I said, I feel like I'm getting a little bit better at this game. Oh my god. Ooh, it's my first treasure chest. 10 machinery. Oh, that's so cool. Well, I still need more artifacts which you can usually get from the Daily Expedition. No fertile soil anywhere. Oh, I've done this one before with no crude workstation. It's really tricksy. You do start with um, 15 of each building material. But yeah, so you don't have a building that guarantees you making planks, fabric, bricks, and pipes, which we can live without pipes early on. Um, but yeah, it becomes very important to try to draft a blueprint that gives you production of those for durability. Starts with all advanced camps unlocked. Well, that's quite nice, actually. But yeah, the fact that you get a bunch of artifacts and things like that, I mean, depends on what difficulty you're playing in, how much you're getting. But yeah, we'll probably end up doing that. But that'll probably be on my own time. Folks, thanks a lot for watching another episode. Ooh, I can find within two of these ruined modifiers. In dangerous lands, only dangerous glades, which is fine. Coral forest, oh, that's a really good spot. Coral Force is quite nice. Oh, all right. <laughs> Folks, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.